What's up beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and this is Bond Book Reviews. And as you can tell, by the time of the month and the title, it is time for another round of Pick Pong. Now I am pre-filming this because it is currently two days past my due date. Baby is still not here and I'm starting to panic that if I wait and film this when I usually film it, I'm gonna run out of time or have a very, very brand new newborn when I'm meant to film. So what we're doing in the month of July is we are going to be doing things a little differently than we usually do. So normally I have prompts on the bottom of all of my cups and whatever cup it lands in, that's the prompt that I need to fulfill. Well, because I took June as a mood reading month, I've decided to do a little bit more difficult this month. And in July, I have put number ranges on the bottom of each of the cups. So one to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, so on and so forth. What's gonna happen is whatever cup it lands in will give me the number range. I then ask Alexa for a number within that number range and whatever number comes up is the book that is on my TBR that I have to read. So the choice is gonna be completely eliminated for me and I'm gonna be forced to be reading books that are on my TBR shelf. So at the moment, I currently have 400 plus books on my TBR. So I've done ranges from one to 25 all the way up to 400. So I've got 16 cups with those ranges on them. So what we're gonna do is throw the ball, whatever cup it lands in, ask Alexa, whatever number it is, that's the book we're gonna read. What I'll do is I will film all the throws first and then we'll come sit down and talk about what my TBR is going to be. Now, a lot of people have told me that when you have a newborn baby, you spend a lot of time reading Kindle books because you're up in the middle of the night feeding and things like that. So the smart person in me should probably have done this with my Kindle TBR, but that's fine. I can hopefully get like the Kindle book version of a lot of these from my library anyway. So I'll still be able to read them via the Kindle version. But yes, that is a plan for this month in the month of July for Pick Pong. We'll see how it goes. If this is your first time seeing Pick Pong and you're completely unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, I will have the entire playlist linked down below for you. But it is my monthly game that I play to determine my TBR. So yeah, it will be linked down below so you can go check out the rules in a bit more detail, but pretty much I throw balls into a cup on the bottom of the cup. There's usually a prompt, except this month we're playing with the number range. So let's get started with the throws. Now I don't have any rewards or punishments under the cups because of the change of rules for this month, but um, I probably should start with the reward considering I have or will most likely have passed pick pong for last month. It is currently the... 11th of June and I have two books left to finish for the month but I just won't start with either a reward or a punishment because it, I can't guarantee it like who knows what's going to happen two books is very easily doable but <laughs> who knows when the baby gets here so um we'll just have no rewards or punishments for the month of July and see how we go obviously I will still have a punishment if I miss more than five times so I will have to add extra books but we're going to start with the typical five and go from there. So throw number one. And the number range we have gotten is 50 to 75. Alexa, pick a number between 50 and 75. Here's a number between 50 and 75. It's 68. Okay, so she's picked number 68. Now I have had a couple of people say to me that I either need to do a reward or a punishment if I get it in the same cup multiple times. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do is if I get it in the cup, same cup twice, then um, I have to combine the two prompts together, which obviously won't really come into play with this number one. Um, and then I have to completely shuffle all of the cups and that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. But for this month, it won't really matter because we obviously have number ranges. So if I do get it in the same cup again, what I'll do is I'll just shuffle the cups, but I won't have to combine the two books prompts because they're not prompts, they're actual books. So no misses so far, time for throw number two for book number two. And we have our first miss of the month. Try again for book number two. Oh no! Miss number two. Yes. Okay, so book number two, our ranges are 
150 to 100 and wait, no, yeah, 150 to 175. Alexa, pick a number between 150 and 175. Okay, so she's picked number 163. Time for book number three. Or miss number three. Come on, pick pop and gods, be kind. Okay. Book number three, our number range is 175 to 200. Alexa, pick a number between 175 and 200. Okay, so she's picked 193. Time for book number four. Oh, we rebounded, but it's different cup, so we'll take it. So book number four range is 100 to 125. Alexa, pick a number between 100 and 125. Okay, so she's picked 119. I'm getting a lot in the 100 range, which are gonna be some really old books on my shelf, which makes me quite nervous, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, so hopefully for our fifth and final book, I feel like this is going too well. I don't like this at all. And of course, we get a miss. Okay, so we're on four misses. And we're trying to get our fifth and final book. So obviously the rule is if I miss five times, I have to add an extra book. So we now have to get six books for the month of July. So book number five. And we managed to get 100 to 125. So it is the same cup again. So I now have to shuffle everything around. Alexa, pick me a number between 100 and 125. 120. Okay, 120 it is. Let's hope book 119 and 120 aren't part of a series. Okay, let's shuffle all these cups around now that I've got two in the same cup. Oh my God, almost tipped a cup over. Okay, final book. And our range is 375 to 400. Alexa, pick a number between 375 and 400. So she's picked 376. Okay, so we have six books. I'm gonna um, take you down. I'll bring up my Goodreads. We'll sit down and we'll talk about the six books that I have to read in the month of July. Why did I do this to myself? Completely removing the choice and letting Alexa decide, but we'll see what it comes up with and hopefully the ping pong gods are semi kind. Okay, so Siri was not kind <laughs> and neither was the ping pong gods. This is the weirdest TBR I've had in a long time. So let's go through what we're reading. So book number 68 on my TBR is Salem Falls by Jodie Picoult, which I have the entire Jodie Picoult collection. And this is one of the few left that I haven't read. So it will be weird to go back to her because I haven't read one of hers in a really long time, but the Gods Have Spoken and Salem Falls is book number one on the July TBR. I have no idea what this is about other than that it is a Jodie Picoult book. So yeah, we'll go in blind and we will see how we come out on the other end. Number 163 was Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which I have really enjoyed Marissa Meyer's other writing. I recently read uh, the first book in her Lunar Chronicles and really enjoyed this. As far as I'm aware, this is a standalone book. Uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, retelling of the one with the Queen of Hearts. Oh my God, how could Alice in Wonderland retelling is my understanding of this one. Um, so we will see what I think. I have been very disappointed in a lot of retellings lately, so I don't know. And I think that's why I've been putting this off, but I do really like Melissa Moraes style of writing, so I may actually enjoy this one. Then we got 193, which is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, which is book two in the uh, Nevernight Chronicles. 
I really enjoyed Never Night when I was reading it, but like I wasn't like obsessed and wanting to pick up book two. And now it's been quite a while, so I'm gonna have to look up a little bit of a recap of what happened in book one. Like I feel like I have enough of a memory, but I probably wanna like recap before I jump into book two. But I am very excited to continue this series because I do like Jay Kristoff's writing. However, after trying to read Empire of the Vampire this month, um, I don't know if I can do another Jay Kristoff a month after, but we're going to do it. We're going to try. So God's Grave was the next one that it picked for me. Then we got 119 and 120, which I jokingly said, oh, hopefully it's not part of a series. Well, it was. It was part of the Percy Jackson series. It was actually book four and book five, but I am not up to those yet. So I've picked out picked out book two and book three, which is the two that I am up to. So they will be the ones that I will be reading for those two is the book two and book three in the Percy Jackson and the Olympus series. And lastly, we got 376, which was The Beginning Woods by Malcolm McNeil, which if you've seen my latest or my some of my recent hauls, I only just got this one from my secondhand store recently. Um, so it is nice to be reading a book that I've only just recently got, but I'm glad that a lot of the numbers that I got were in like the less than a 200 range because it means they've been on my shelf for a lot longer so it will be very very handy so there you have it they are the six books that are going to be on my july tbr very uh fantasy heavy series heavy i mean i can't complain continuing some series that i've been avoiding um i'm very excited to be reading something i've got recently and i'm also excited to get another jody picoult off my list because I do have a couple of hers that I did want to get to that are my backlist. So, I mean, I can't complain, but not what I was expecting to be reading in <laughs> my first month having a newborn. So we'll see how I go. Do you think I'll pass or fail? Let me know in the comments down below what you think, or if you've read any of these, what you thought of them. Uh, and if you have made it this far and you don't have a comment to drop below, but you do want to um, say something, then you can drop the tree emoji in the comments down below just to say hi and help my channel grow. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and happy reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful people that are watching Pickfong. I am here just to let you know that Addie will be helping me decide some books next month. So stay tuned for that. She will be involved in Pickpong. I had to pre-film for the month of July, but in August, We'll be back bigger and better than ever for Pig Pongathon year two. And you guys are going to be deciding what you're reading this this time because the prompts will be in your hands, not mine. So make sure you come back in August to check out that. But just wanted to let you know, she'll be making more of an appearance in the August Pig Pong for Pig Pongathon announcement and, and Pig Pong August TBR. So stay tuned.